What is going on guys, Tempo here, and what is happening with COD Champs this year? Since this year is a bit of an odd one for COD Champs, with it being at COD XP and it actually being the COD World League Champs, I thought I would give you guys a small explanation. So as usual, there will be 32 teams attending this year. 12 of them will have qualified through their CWL placements and 20 through online qualifications by teams that have earned enough CWL points playing GB tournaments. COD Champs will be held at COD XP from the 1st to the 4th of September in Los Angeles. This year it will be brought to you by the PlayStation 4 and the price pool will be $2 million. This is not to be confused with the total $3 million awarded throughout the year by the CWL. Now if you're curious about the prize breakdown, I can't tell you how it'll be, but it'll probably be similar to the regular breakdown you can see on screen with maybe each top 8 teams receiving 2 times more. With the new CWL program, it's uncertain to say whether each team will be uh, receiving a bit of a payoff, or if it'll just be the traditional top 8. Alright, so for all the teams that have qualified to go to COD XP this year, there are two different types of teams. The teams that have qualified through their CWL points, and those who went through the CWL Championship Qualifier. In North America, Optic Gaming, FaZe, Rise Nation, Envious, Luminosity Gaming, and Dream Team have all qualified through their CWL placements. And the 10 teams that have qualified through the online tourney are Panda Gaming, Team Allegiance, Complexity, Team Caliber, Korn, Elevate, Cloud9, Apophian Gaming, Most Wanted, and Livin' the Dream. On the EU side of things, we've got Millennium, Splice, Team Infused, Hyper Games that have qualified through their CWL points, and Exertus GG, Epsilon Esports, Supremacy FR, Vitality, Team LDLC, Giants Gaming, Kappa Academy, and Revoltables, who have qualified via the online tourney. A lot of these teams aren't well known, so that's probably why you won't recognize them. In Australia slash New Zealand, we've got Mindfreak and Orbit as the two teams to have already qualified via their uh, CWL points. And the other two to be qualified through the tournament are Champ Squad and Chiefs ESC. All the rosters of these teams will be in the description. The video would be too long if I put them in here, so you can check them out if you want to. Well guys, that's really all you need to know about Kai Champs 2016. All the maps and game modes will be those of the CWL and the CWL rules will be implemented, if you're curious to know. That's been all from me. I uh, hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Tempo out.